we wanted to put a little video together about inputs and how they work on a DDC panel. So there's a, there's lots of different type of devices that we tie to a panel and we get information uh, from devices that, that give us temperature, amps, reading, humidity, pressure. So um, there's a there's like five or six ways different that they get wired into a, a panel. So a panel input is basically a positive and a negative and the input has a voltmeter on it and that voltmeter basically reads a voltage across the input and, and the voltage will be between 0 and 5 volts DC. Um, some of the older panels were 0 to 6 volts. So what this panel does on the panel side there's a resistor and that resistor is 10k and then there's a power supply and the power supply that the panel is providing is 0 to 5 volts. So what happens is the, on, when we wire an input out to the space, if we're going to monitor say a motion sensor or a door contact, it's an open and closed device. So when it's open, the voltmeter, so the power supply would go up through the 10k resistor, go out to the contact, it wouldn't get through the contact because it's open, so the me the voltmeter would read the voltage across the contact and, the, and the, it would read 5 volts when it's open. So when the contact closes, it would read 0 volts. So then we transmit that to being on and off through a voltage reading on the panel. So now when you take go and you measure a temperature, a temperature sensor is basically called a varistor. So it's a resistor that changes according to the temperature. So as the temperature rises, the resistance goes up. As the temperature drops, the resistance goes down. Um, as that resistance changes, well, so would the voltage drop. So the panel would read the voltage drop across the resistor and convert that voltage drop to temperature through a scale range. So the next input that we would put on the system is a current sensor. So it's a donut that wraps around a line voltage. And the current sensor basically puts out a voltage. It provides a voltage into the panel. So it would provide a voltage back to the panel and that voltage would be 0 to 5 volts. So when we set the dip switch on the panel, we actually what happens is the resistor gets pulled out and now there's no power supply coming from the panel. And now the voltmeter is reading the voltage from the actual device. And it's not, inter it's not getting any voltage from the power itself. So now we convert 0 to 5 volts from the device and we convert that to amps. So there's lots of devices that put out 0 to 5 volts. We could have a speed drive that puts out 0 to 5 volts. Um, we could have a pressure sensor that puts out 0 to 5 volts. A humidity sensor that puts out 0 to 5 volts. So there's lots of devices that we put out 0 to 5 volts. We just take out the resistor and the panel reads the voltage of 0 to 5 volts. The next input would be a device that provides a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Sometimes it's 0 to 20 or 4 to 20 milliamps. So when you set the panel to 4 to 20 milliamps on the dip switch, what happens is the panel puts in a 250 ohm resistor right in the middle here. And if you have a device that has a separate power supply, usually they have a DC power supply. So the DC power supply would be in here and this would be actually 24 volts DC. And we'd get a voltage reading across this 250 ohm resistor. So if you do the Ohm's law, 250 ohm resistor, if you do the Ohm's law, if we put 4 milliamps through 250 ohms, you get 1 volt. If you put 20 milliamps through 250 ohms, you get 5 volts. There's the voltmeter reading the 0 to 5 volts. So there's a little instruction on how inputs work, how the panel receives the information, how the panel reads 5 volts all the time, and it's converting it to the different measurements of, the, of all the devices that we work with. Hope that helps you out. Have a good day.